Howdy. We're at the beach house. And this is my steampunk hammock. It's an uncompleted project. But I'll show you a little bit about it after my nap. Well, what we got here is a project that got too big. It's one of these things I've always intended on finishing. I got it to the point of functionality, and then I stopped. That's a big sewing project, biggest one I ever tackled, and that's because it's got a lot of decorative stuff on it, stuff we don't normally do uh, when we're making our camping gear. It's a steampunk hammock. I'm kind of trying to imagine uh, what hammocks would have looked like in the 1880s had they had all of the hammock advances that we have today. It's kind of funny talking about hammock advances, you know, like it was rocket surgery or something like that, but uh, once I got to thinking about it, started realizing that, uh, yeah, we have come a long way as far as hanging in the air with a piece of cloth. As a steampunk hammock, let me show you what I've done to it and let me tell you about what I'm going to do because I'm going to finish this thing someday maybe after my nap now, now the first thing I'll show you is this is the uh, this is the night table the gear hammock and it was the test hammock that I did to see if I could even pull this thing off uh, it's got an embroidered material on the outside. It's a double layer with bed ticking on the inside. And I tested to see about how I could put that fringe on. You can see I got my tablet in there. That's for when you lounge. Because you don't lollygag in a Victorian hammock. You lounge in it. I tried to use brass fixtures wherever I could. And one of the days I'm going to replace this Amsteel ridge line for something that's uh, gold colored uh, to go along with the Victorian theme. So that was the first thing I built. Proved to me I could do it. So I built the other one. Let me show you that. Now it's 12 foot long and about 50 inches wide, which is not as wide as I wanted to make it, but I was limited by the material. The next one I make will be a lot wider. Uh, got the Victorian fringe again with the bed ticking as the inner layer and a nice embroidered material for the outer layer okay now because this thing weighs about six pounds putting in in the washing machine is uh, is not a good idea so I've installed uh, intend to finish this sheet that goes inside and we'll sleep on the sheet and then put it in the washing machine to wash. And that way the uh, hammock doesn't get dirty. Now when I say it's not finished, my intention is to come in here, overlap slightly, and put in some brass snaps all the way down to hold it in place. Now I'll also replace the beaners here holding the ridge line with some more brass fixtures and uh, right now you can see I've got the sheet set up got a little bit of spring to it I've got some shock cord in there and that's how the uh, sheet stays in the hammock by clipping to that carabiner I'm also going to replace the Dyneema uh, continuous loop here for something a little bit more Victorian. Alright, now I ended up uh, having to use a heavier needle and I went through about three or four of them putting this thing together. Uh, but the hard work is done. All I got is a bunch of little fiddly stuff. And I haven't done it. I finished this thing to this point uh, about two years ago. So uh, it may take me a while to finish it. But I, I tell you, I still think that the nap function is going to need a little bit more testing. So that's what we're going to do right now.